It can happen to any of us. You install a theme, you start playing around with all the settings, and then before you know it, your website's a mess. Hi everybody, I'm Julia Taylor, CEO and founder of Geekpack, and in today's video, we are going to do a quick tutorial on how to reset your WordPress settings to default. So here we have our website. We have added content, we've got pages, we've got images, we've got everything, we've changed the settings, we've customized it, but we've got to the point where actually it just doesn't feel right and we want to start all over completely and we want to reset everything to the default settings. So let's do that now. First things first, we need to get into the back end. So I'm going to click on dashboard. Now from here, we can see we have all of our content. If we go into the posts, we can see all of our blog posts there. If we go into the media, we can see we've got images there. Go into pages, we can see we've got a bunch of pages as well. Now, if we want to start fresh and take everything back to the default settings, we want to go to plugins and add new. We'll come over here to the search bar and we want to search for WP reset. And it's this first one that we want to install. So I'm going to click on install now. And then we want to activate it. Now, in order to use the plugin, we want to go to our tools and then WP reset. Here you can take a look at what is going to happen when you do the right the, the site reset and what is going to be removed completely. Everything where this trash is, all of that data will be removed completely. If we scroll all the way down, we've got some, some information on what happens when we run the reset tool. We absolutely 100% do want to use the snapshot tool or you can make your own backup, but one of either one, you, you definitely want to make sure you have that because if you reset the site and then you think, oh no, I wish I had X, you are going to wish that you had it. So be sure to do the snapshots or make a backup. Okay, and then a bit further down, we have our site reset options. You can ask it that when it reactivates, it brings in the current theme, uh, it brings back WP Re Reset plugin, and it reactivates all currently active plugins. So one thing to keep in mind, if you keep this plugin one unticked, your plugins will stay, but they will be deactivated. So that all this does is activate all of them. I am going to uncheck all of those options. Before we reset the site, let's create a snapshot. Go ahead and put in whatever name or description you want here. I'm going to leave that default. Okay, awesome. That snapshot is now created. Okay, so next steps, and it looks like uh, we have it has added that back in. So I'm gonna make sure that is unchecked. So all of these boxes are unchecked, and then here we just need to type in reset, and then click on reset site. Are you sure? Yes, we are sure. Reset WordPress. All right, now let's look and see what we've got. Let's see. Do we have any posts? Nope, those are all gone. This is the, the default that is always there. Let's see if we have any media files. Nope, that is all gone. What about pages? Again, just the default, what comes out of the box. Let's take a look at the site. And yep, here we are. This is the default WordPress theme. So if we come back in here, we can take a look at the plugins. If you want to get rid of all of these plugins, you can do that as a bulk action. So you'll see they're all deactivated. So if we want to get rid of all of them, I'm going to click on that there next to plugin, bulk action, delete, and then apply. And yes. And then there we go. All of those plugins will delete. All right, there we go. All done. We are back to our default settings and we are ready to go with a brand new site. Want more WordPress tips? Awesome. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so every Wednesday you'll be notified when a new video is available.